My mission is to help you understand that death is the end of a life, but not of a relationship, and to bring comfort and peace back into your life, but also to be the voice of communication for those who have crossed over and to reconnect the bond that is forever. I have three words for Marianne, and that's the real deal. Um, if you need closure and you need to find the answers that will settle your soul, you will find them here. Um, it's it's as close to uh, it's as close to a guarantee as I can give anyone. She's very special. Um, there are other more popular people uh, out there. Um, I know a few people who've gone to those people. Um, they don't seem as satisfied as I am, and anyone I've sent uh, to Marianne. Um, she's very special. I'm here with bereavement counselor Sylvia Havlich. Sylvia is the author of the book Moments Like This and I am so happy to be working with her today. I too feel honored because I spent my professional career building a good reputation as a counselor and trying so hard to help people who are grieving. And when I met Mary Ann through a student, I knew when I watched her help people that she was the only person I would ever allow to get involved like this. She's helped many people over her lifetime and I'm very thrilled to be a part of this. Thank you. Oh, please give her a call. Give her a call because I was skeptic. I was skeptic before and oh, everything. And she's so compassionate and oh, you feel so much better even though, you know, you do, you feel better. Everything she tells me, I just, it just lets me know that there is another side and the other side. Um, everything. Marianne does not know me, so for her to say any of these things, um, that's how I know she's the real deal. It's easier for me to do it by phone because I. I can sit at home, I can cry, go through my tissues, and when I'm out, and obviously I don't do too good a job, I have to be strong. Absolutely do it. You have nothing to lose and so much to gain, and it has opened up my life, and my, my whole spiritual and mental outlook has changed because I understand now. I understand there is a rhyme and a reason to this, and just because I don't always get it, it's okay, and that in the end, everything really is taken care of here. We just don't think it's in our time, um, but absolutely, uh, it's it just, I wouldn't wanna be here if I, if I hadn't gotten that comfort and knowing that I've always been loved, and I've always been taken care of, even if they're not physically here. I highly suggest trying it even if you're skeptical, uh, try it because um, I've known some skeptics that have tried it <laughs> and they think differently now and I'll just call, just do it. Your Nana, did she cook? Do you remember? No, did you know your great grandmother? No. No, okay. Okay, well she's in there and I feel you love your, your Nana. I yeah, and um, she, you, you really brighten that as day, oh. and and so her mother is telling you that that you really are there because she's a, she's having a little bit of a hard time it seems, um, and you just really brighten her day, and your great grandmother just wants you to know that that oh. that you do that for her and she thanks you for that. She looks forward to your stories or anything that you have to say. Is her husband on the other side? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ever since his death, I feel that they were together at the time of their deaths. I, my, what she said, my Nana, who is alive right now, right. Uh, is in the Alzheimer's unit, and so she's oh. not really herself anymore. Right. And it all happened when my grandfather died. So oh. the fact that she said she isn't well, right. it Going happened exactly time. when my grandfather died. So to hear that her mom is telling me that I'm 
make her happy. Right. So she's not really remembering me anymore. Right. So. Hmm. Hmm. Are you crying? Interesting. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs>